What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna show you one of the coolest features that we got in the April 2023 Power BI update. I'm talking about how to edit data models in the Power BI service. And remember folks, this is just the beginning to start working on the web rather than the Microsoft Power BI desktop application. So this feature is still in preview, but really, really promising folks. So now let's do this. So real quick for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be covering three main points here. I'm gonna show you how to enable the preview feature. Remember this is still in preview, like I said before. And then the second point, we're gonna learn how to model the data. We have a few options here, how to create measures, how to create or modify relationships, how to create reports, etc. So we'll get there. And finally, it's also worth learning the type of permissions that you need to have in order to modify the data models in Power BI service. Now folks, this is the time, let's go over Power BI service. So here we are in Power BI service and let's get started with the first point, which is enabling the preview feature. So here we are in my workspace and by default, this option is actually enabled within my workspace. So you don't have to do anything. Let's go over to data sets and data flows here and let's see what's going on here. So let's open this data set. And as you can see, so this option right here, the open data model is already active. So if we click on here, so you will see automatically the data model there for that specific data set. You can delete it, you can make any changes here for now, and then you can start editing and playing with this model. If you go back to the other page here, the other tab, and then the other option here is if you have a report or a data set that's in a different workspace. So for this particular case, I have a different workspace, it's called visualization, and then we have to activate the option here to edit data models. How do we do that? So I go to the workspace here. Like I said before, this is my workspace called visualization. Let's go over settings here and then scroll down a little bit. As you can see, there is an option here called users can edit data models in the Power BI service preview. So let's activate this option and then hit save. And once we do that, you will have the option to play with your data models. So let's do that, for example. Let's open this report. So now you can see that this option is active. So now, as you can see, here is the model, and then you can start playing with it. But let's go back to the previous data set right here, okay? So this is the first one. This is within my workspace. So now, guys, let's start modeling the data. The first thing that we want to do here, let's create a measure. So let's do that right click new measure so before we create this measure let's go over here and let's grab this okay and then let's go over here again measure and then let's rename this new measure called new and here we can add a calculate function this is just a random measure and then here for example Let's select year from the calendar table, which is this one right here. And then this should be, we can select here 2017 and then close parentheses and approve these changes. Perfect. It seems like it's working perfectly fine. So we are good there. So that's how we create measures. And then there is another option here as well. You can do that, but you're going to be getting the same results. Okay. So the next feature that I want to play with here is how to create a calculated table. So this is the option here as well. Let's hit new table and let's start playing with it. How about if we call this dates, dates new, let's use the calendar auto function. Okay. How about that? Let's see what happens. Let's approve these changes and now you can see this new table created right here. Perfect. You can create other types of tables here, right? I'm just creating a calendar table, but you can create other types of tables, like I said before. And then the other feature that I would like to play with is 
how to create or modify relationships. You can see here, this is the start schema that we have in our model. So let's make a couple of changes here. You can clearly see here that the fact table is in the middle and then the dimension tables are around it. So let's say that we wanna inactivate a relationship. So you can do that. For now, let's say that we don't care about promotion and let's inactivate this, confirm, boom. Double click again, it's inactive. You can make changes, right? You can modify and also, like I said before, you can create new relationships. And then the other feature that I would like to share with you is to manage and also assign people to roles. So let's do that. This is the option. And then here, let's create a new role here. How about if we go over territory, just for Europe, okay, this is my my role and then this group is actually here part of territory i'm just selecting the table here and then i need to add a filter any here and then let's look for sales territory group which is this one this should be just for europe and then let's save these changes it's working and then we can assign people to this role so let's go over here assign this is the role and now we are ready to add people to this role. For this particular case, I'm gonna add just my email. It's actually right here and then add it and then save it and then close it. So we are good to go. So the next time the person opens the report, that specific person for this particular case is gonna be me. I'm only seeing data for Euro. And remember here in the past, we had to use just Power BI Desktop and then publish a report to the web and then on the web we were able to add people to those roles but now like i said before everything can be done here on the web this is awesome guys the next step that i would like to talk about is how to create reports so this is the option as you can see here let's get this option and let's get started so you can create reports by using this preview data set now you have the option to create reports. So let's see, let's use the measure that we just created, which is called total freight new. So this is one of the measures that we just created. How about if we change the, the visual here? Let's go over territory, perhaps territory group here, boom. You can start adding more features here. Text box, for example. And then you can start editing here. And then the rest is history, right? So it's a matter of just edit and customize your report. And then you are good to go, my friend. So now you can save the changes here. Let's say that you are done with this. And this new window pops up. Let's change the name here. And you can select the workspace here as well. So let's select for now this Excelization and then save. Boom, it's done. So now if you wanna check what's going on, so let's go back to this Excelization. And then here you should be able to find your report. So let's see, it's right here. Hit this option, boom, there it is. It's quite straightforward, right? You might be asking, what is the main goal with this new feature? And this is just my personal opinion. I would say that one of the main goals is to start using more the web and then start using less and less the Power BI Desktop application. So the idea here is that people who have different types of devices, different operating systems, they can work just perfectly fine on the web. Specifically those who have a Mac computer for example right so they don't have to have a virtual desktop to start using power bi and then the other goal is to encourage collaboration among developers right but remember here in order to make changes on the web you have to have permissions so the user must have write and build data set permissions this is in order to open and edit the data model in the power bi service there you have it my friends i hope you found this tutorial helpful if so as always please give me a thumbs up share with your friends 
and of course don't forget subscribe also take a look at these tutorials really good content as well if you want to keep sharpening your power bi skills thank you guys for your time and see you next time